In the final few seconds, roll off the clock. Shepard is headed back to the semifinals. It's back-to-back Region 1 champions for the Shepard University Rams on to the final four. They get revenge after the PSAC championship loss to IUP. Shepard with the final score, 48-13 over IUP. A shocker in terms of the final. The Rams would unfortunately fall in the semifinals to Colorado School of Mines, but 2022 was another historic season of Shepard football. With the departure of the NCAA touchdowns leader, quarterback Tyson Bagent, a new era begins at Shepard. VMI transfer Seth Morgan will be the Rams starter this season. During his four-year career at VMI, Morgan threw for 4,852 yards, 24 touchdowns, and ran for 377 yards with nine touchdowns. We're here at Shepard Media Day with Shepard Rams' new quarterback, Seth Morgan. Seth, you come in from VMI. What's the transition been like for you? It's been really smooth. That's, you know, the best word I could use to describe it. Uh, and that's, you know, huge credit to Coach Clark coming from VMI with me and then Coach McCook just, you know, making a really seamless transition for me. Having that relationship with Coach Clark already, how, how has he helped you get adjusted to the offense? You know, just seeing him at VMI, what I always knew about him was, you know, he's going to put in as much as he can into the program to be successful, and he's brought in that here. You know, he puts in the long hours with me, you know, making sure I feel comfortable in this offense. And so uh, that's been the biggest thing is just, you know, his effort and energy to uh, make sure I feel comfortable is what I notice the most. How much of uh, Tyson's success here led, led to your decision coming to Shepard? Uh, it was a huge uh, component. Um, you know, over winter break when I was being uh, recruited uh, by other schools, you know, none of them had, you know, a quarterback of that caliber. And, you know, seeing him lay the blueprint out of what it looks like to be a successful quarterback here at Shepard was, uh, you know, definitely a strong convincing point for me to come here. Offensively, it's a pretty young group. Mm-hmm. Uh, what have been some things that you tried to do to be a leader on this team? Just putting in extra hours with the guys and, uh, you know, doing stuff outside football, you know, build chemistry, um, you know, going out to dinner with guys, you know, sitting with them in the cafeteria, stuff of that nature, because, uh, you know, just as, it's just as important what you do on the field as what you do off the field. So uh, building chemistry with uh, those receivers has been, you know, something I really focused on. Who have been some guys that have stood out to you so far? Well, certainly Jeremiah Taylor. I think he's going to have an amazing season. I think, you know, I don't want to throw too many numbers out there, but I think he's, you know, capable of doing 1,000-plus yards receiving, uh, just his explosiveness, his speed, his ability to go for the ball. Uh, Barry Hill, very smart player, knows where to be all the time, sure hands. Uh, and then Rodney Dorsey, you know, in the slot, you know, a veteran guy, knows where to be, and, uh, you know, very reliable receiver. So those would be the three I'm most excited for this season. What's your relationship been like with the – quarterbacks that are already in the room and trying to compete with them? Uh, it's been great. They've been extremely welcoming. You know, I've, I can't say I've ever been a part of an experience like this, having a transfer come in. Uh, I was really nervous coming in, not sure what they would think of me, but uh, they've been super welcoming and inviting, and, uh, you know, those are my brothers. I love hanging out with them every day. All right, Seth, thank you, and good luck this Appreciate season. It. Thank you so much. Shepard will have to replace seven starters on offense, and Coach Ernie McCook highlighted how the team will attempt to replace those starters. On the offensive side here, up front, we, we obviously graduated two key guys, uh, Adam Steele and Joey Fisher. Uh, but I really feel really good about this group with three returning starters that I have here, Chandler Brown, Wyatt Pelcano, uh, and Ty Lucas. I'm really excited about James Bell at center. Just a wonderful kid, uh, great effort guy, uh, really understands the game. And then Brandon Carr stepping in at the right tackle position. You know, I don't know that you're ever going to replace a guy like Joey Fisher, but Brandon brings a lot of great qualities. And the best thing I can tell you about how I feel about Brandon is uh, Joey had to come out for a stinger at some point last year, and I didn't even realize he wasn't out there. Brandon stepped right in. The snaps he was in for Joey did a tremendous job. The receiving core, uh, this is something is – Man, this is a great receiving core. It's got a chance to do some good things. Um, Rodney Dorsey, who's been around for a long time, he's going to finish his master's here in the fall. Uh, MBA student, um, you know, is going to be an inside receiver for us. Uh, Jeremiah Taylor is a big body receiver that transferred in uh, in January. He was with us for the spring. And um, in this fall camp, really excited about what JT brings to um, our offense, as well as Barry Hill. 
Um, really fired up about him. We think Cameron Dorner is going to be a really solid outside receiver for us. Um, two young guys that stepped, 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 stood out to me is Cordell Batten, uh, Clayton Batten's little brother, um, and Gabe Bigby, uh, another slot receiver who, uh, who is with us. Um, we got a, another transfer who's working through a knee injury. Um, I think he'll be full go here as we finish up here this week. Ethan Williams was at Boston College in UConn. Uh, really optimistic about him. And then we've got other guys that are going to compete and give us, we have great depth there. We're going to have great competition with that. Tight ends, uh, fullbacks, we graduated a guy, Brian Walker, who um, signed, at, uh, signed with the Baltimore Ravens for a short time. And then um, my wife's favorite player ever, uh, Michael McCook, graduated last year. But this group is awesome, and we're an offense that needs to have tight ends and fullbacks. Uh, Dustin Fisher over here will be step in and, and be a, he'll be able to do a tight end fullback deal. Jack Rosnich is a guy we moved from D-line a couple years ago, is really put some great things on tape, and I couldn't be more excited about uh, a kid named Brian Jester will be a redshirt freshman, and he's from uh, Frederick, Maryland. So really excited about those guys uh, and really excited about this football team. Another key positional battle will take place at the kicker position after the graduation of Jacob Haney. The kicking job is going to be between James Bozick, Garrett Hutchison, and Owen Humphreys, who has really come on strong. All three are competing here uh, this summer. And then we're very fortunate to have um, – a great long snapper and a graduate transfer. It will be a second year in our program, Zach Fry. Uh, those are all areas that we really feel that are very important, that we focus on the special teams, have the right people there. Uh, I really feel good about those guys, and I love the competition at the kicking position. Um, I do have a lot of confidence in Matt Barrick and Zach, and I think competition will give us a chance to be really solid in that position. The defense returns eight starters, including linebacker Dwayne Grantham. Here with Shepard Rams linebacker Dwayne Grantham at Media Day. Dwayne, another season for you at Shepard. Uh, obviously, last year you were coming in as a transfer. What has been, I guess, the difference from this time last year to now? Uh, my mental, you know, uh, understanding the playbook a little bit better this year, you know, uh, knowing it a lot more and uh, just being able to play faster. What have you seen out of the defense this year? A lot of guys return. It was a young group last year. Still young in terms of eligibility, but a lot more experience with this team. Uh, you know, this defense I see this year is, uh, you know, we're young, but we're also played together before. So it's like we gel a lot quicker. And, you know, uh, a lot of times defenses, it takes harder for them to learn because it's, it's, it's a lot harder than offense. You know, you got to understand zone concepts. You got to understand man schemes and what's going on and when to add, when to blitz, when not to blitz. Uh, you know, but for us, I think it's been, well, for me overall, it's been a lot harder because I got a lot younger linebackers that haven't really seen the college field yet. So for me, it's been harder uh, just teaching them younger guys how to become better players on and off the field. But uh, defensively overall, I think we've come together very well. We, we move very well and we get to the ball very fastly. So, How do you feel those young guys have fit in with the group that was already there? Uh, I think they're kind of understanding the mentality we play with. You know, we like to get takeaways. We like to force turnovers and we, we like to get off the field fast. And that's what uh, Coach Klein praises every day. And I think they're starting to fall in line with that coming in this fall. And some of those guys ended up getting some playing time at the end of the year. You were injured, so uh, you didn't get to play with them. But now that you're building that chemistry, what's that been like to see what they were able to do when you weren't on the field and now you guys kind of building that chemistry together? Oh, it's been good. Uh, for instance, like the the younger linebacker, JT, I think he's really understood uh, mentally the playbook well. He's moving a lot faster this year. And just, you know, seeing him on the sideline last year, watching him play in that game, compared to just like this fall and this past spring, it's just been, it's been beautiful. It's, a, it's like JT came in as a freshman, like a high school kid, basically. Now he's like, you would think he's like a junior, senior playing football out there. So it's just, it's just great watching them younger guys develop in the weight room and on the field mentally. And now they're just out there flying around playing football like nothing ever happened, you know. It, a lot of times for the younger guys, it's more so getting a playbook down. 
first and then after you get the playbook down it's like you can fly around run 100 miles it's all about football again you know just understanding what you're doing at first and then being able to play at a hundred percent speed and not messing up or knowing what assignment you have is just what makes the defense go you know how's the offense look so far based on what you guys have been able to see you know, the offense for me, uh, they move very well. They move very fast. And I think uh, Coach McCook and his guys over there done a great job fitting in where we uh, lost out last year. You know, it's hard to replace those guys, Tyson, Tyson Joey, and Ronnie. But uh, he's done a great job filling in them spots and uh, getting that offense to gel together. i definitely seen a difference from this past spring to fall. They definitely come along well. What are some things you guys are hoping to accomplish this year? Uh, this year, I want to accomplish the PSAC. You know, we haven't got that yet. Uh, and I want to just go out there, win another regional, and hopefully get to the playoffs and get them a uh, national championship. Coach McCook talked about some of the Rams' other key starters on defense. All right, I, I am really excited about our defense and uh, the spring that they had, the guys that they have coming back. Um, really excited. And they're still a young group of guys. Um, up front will be led by Malik Holloway. Um, really, really, you know, Malik is a graduate, uh, graduated last spring, and he will be in his last year of eligibility coming back to play football. Uh, I think Malik is going to have a tremendous year. He brings great leadership to us. I think Jason Robinson and Mike Forbes are doing a great job uh, at, on, at the defensive edge position, as well as Kevin Kausner, Elijah Queen. Uh, as we kind of build that. Inside, uh, I'm really excited about, uh, obviously, Bednarski, Matt Bednarski, who you guys met, Nathan Muley, and Jack Baxter. Muley is going to be able to play in multiple different positions. Uh, all those guys have got significant, really good snaps here at Shepard playing, um, and I think that they're only going to get better as it goes on. I think we've got a transfer, graduate transfer from VMI, uh, Charles Dixon, uh, he's as he gets into the mix, I think the good things will happen with that. Our, our second level guys, um, Dwayne Grantham and JT Yalcome, our guys are going to be, uh, be battling in there, leading the linebacking core. Uh, with that, we'll have um, Cole Scott competing in, in that position. And then on the back end, along with the, what we call our star, uh, we have great players like Omari Terry, uh, the corners, Dante Harrison, um, Derek Adamas, uh, transfer from VMI as well, Kaiser Samuel, uh, Nehemiah uh, Alexander, all cornerbacks that have done really well. The safety position, really excited about uh, Christian McDowell in his second year as a starter, uh, and Anilio Pena. Anilio uh, is just a fun guy to watch run around. He's been like that for uh, the last three years really think that there's going to be some good things with him. You know, um, I get a chance, as uh, I always tell everybody, when my spring ball and fall camp is miserable as the O-line coach, that means we've got a chance to be really good. And uh, our defense causes me a lot, of, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of headaches with, the, with what the, how they, hard they play, the things that they do. Um, and they will, they, I think they have an opportunity to be absolutely tremendous on the defensive side of the ball. They're well coached. Uh, they're uh, prepared week in and week out. And they create great competition. Uh, you know, we've got tremendous, tremendous talent, I believe. And again, our challenge is going to be how, how in sync we get everybody. How everybody will be on the, it needs to be on the same page in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. That's on our players. The, the work that they put in and, and they're able to put together with that. Um, our keys to success, obviously, is the guys in this room being able to lead our football team, hold people accountable, you know, and when you have a team that is accountable, you have trust. And if we have trust within the locker room, I think we have a great chance for success with that. Shepard begins its season on Saturday, September 2nd at noon. You can tune into that game along with the entire Shepard Rams football season right here on TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. The pregame show begins 30 minutes prior to kickoff. With TV 10 Sports, I'm Nick Verzolini.